What's up young Putins, it's the Russian Genius and I am super excited to show you a really cool color change and you end totally clean in the end. Let me show you what it looks like. So any card is gonna get selected, I'm first gonna give the deck a shuffle just like that. Hey, that's my bunny, Putin, can you see him? Hey bro, come here you sexy bastard. Anyways, let me show you what it looks like. So look, any card in the deck is gonna get selected let's say the five of clubs and then I would take the top card the four of spades and just like that flick it and it changes into the five this is how the move it looks like nine of diamonds changes into the ace of spades boom bonus clip all right I have no idea where I'm putting this clip in but let's say we take the two of diamonds the two is gonna be going inside the center and look what's gonna happen I take the top card with is the king and the king is gonna magically change just like that into the two just gonna do it one last time and then we will move on into the tutorial so look three of diamonds all right look what's gonna happen when i twist it it changes into the two of clubs really visual and cool sexy color change here is basically how you do it it's gonna be a little bit difficult but with practice you should be able to do it within a few days or maybe even a few weeks depending on how good you are at magic anyways the selected card let's say it is the ace of spades you are gonna control it to the top of the deck however you want and you know as I say in my other videos if you want to learn this control you can check it out on my website the russiangenius.com but once you have it on top of the deck you are gonna do a double lift and this double lift looks like this it's a really cool double lift and it looks amazing so you get a pinky break below the top two cards and then your thumb is gonna go on this corner and then the middle finger is gonna go on the other corner so middle finger is closest to the thumb as you can see and the other thumb is at the other side and you are gonna lift it up as a double now your index finger is gonna rotate it like this and go under the card like that and then it's gonna come back and that is basically the double if you want to make it look a little bit better instead of doing this which I just taught you once again try to follow along so you know you hold it like this index finger takes it down and your index finger straightens up and then you go back like that. If you want to make it look really cool and flashy like this, then all you do is while doing the movement, your palm goes palm up and then palm down and then you do this. So try following along and let's see if we can do this. So you know, you hold it like that, index finger is gonna take it down, all right? And then I'm gonna go palm up and my index finger is gonna stretch out and then you're gonna go palm down and it's gonna go face up. So that is basically it. You know, you do this and then you do this. So just like that, that is basically the move. Once you can do it, you are going to put it on the deck. The index finger is gonna go on top and the thumb is also gonna go on top. And the reason for why the index finger is there is because you are gonna use the thumb to pull the card and the index finger makes sure that it's aligned on the deck. Then you're gonna strip out the ace of spades and when you do this, make sure that the face of the card is not showing to the spectator. Like, make sure only you see this and not this spectator because you don't want to show them that this is happening but your hand is gonna strip out the ace of spades and then you are gonna go palm up like that and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna twist this down so basically index finger is going to pull it like that all my index finger is doing is this so let me show you this in speed like that and then i take this i pull it 
and then my index finger is going to do this movement and while I do that I'm gonna take the seven of clubs and I'm gonna pull it downwards like that so like this I take it twist it around come back and then my thumb strips the card and my other hand strips the ace away from the deck and now my index finger is on top as you can see and my index finger is kind of going to rotate it a little bit and look at the back of the card the back of the card is always pointing to that direction so look i'm gonna show you this in speed all right like that and the back of the card is always pointing to that direction. And that is really important simply because you don't want to do this and flash the ace. That's not a good idea. So, once again, like this. And then my index finger is doing this. My thumb is gonna go all the way down. I'm holding the card between my middle finger and this part of the th of the hand. My thumb is gonna go there. My index finger is also gonna go there. So I'm just clipping the card like this, as you can see. And now my index finger is basically just gonna do this, kind of like shooting a booger. Vroom. And as you can see, the card does vroom. I'm making the sound effects, not the card. But it, it does this. And when it's doing that, your hand is going to pull down the top card. So six of spades. I do this, vroom, and then vroom. So in speed, it would look like that, like this. And then the ace has changed. What you can also do, what I recommend, is after you do this, you can flick the ace like that. And that flicking motion is kind of like just snapping your fingers and changing the card. You know, kind of like when you would do a uh, double lift and change it like that. All right, I'm gonna try to do it once again and try following along. So pinky break below the top two cards, you hold it like this and then you are gonna do that like this. You go back over here, you grab it with the index and thumb and then you strip it out while taking this and make sure you're not showing this to the spectator, so keep this up to yourself and then you do this movement your thumb goes down, index finger is down, and now you have to kinda mm, align the view to the spectator's eyes. You have to align it. Uh, if you are sitting near a table, then you can put the deck a little bit below the table and just do this. But if you are not sitting in front of a table, what the f is happening? If you are not sitting in front of a table, then you can kinda, you know, hide it like this, as you can see and then you are still able to do the move and make the card uh, vanish. You do this, you pull it down, and then you flick it, you boom, you snap it, you wave it, and you ask them, what's your card? Ace of spades, whoop, just like that. Ace of spades, you wanna see it again? Yeah, sure, all right, then vroom, and vroom, vroom just like that this is a pretty interesting and cool move and i hope that you enjoy it uh try posting a video on instagram and tag me in it once again it would be like this so five of spades and then it changes into the ace. Here are a few tips, or one tip at least. What you can do is, you know, you do this, flurries, and you show them the two. You actually show them the two, and then when your hand goes up, so you show the spectator two, your hand goes up, you strip, and then you voom, and voom, and voom. Yes, once again. So like that, you, you, you know, you rotate, you strip and then you do this and this and that 
just like that quite cool right anyways boom bottom deal just like that quite cool right uh, i am gonna produce uh, two cards uh, 10 and the 10 that was kind of lucky i didn't really expect that but uh, thank you guys for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did smash the like button boom 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 just like that hope you enjoy this uh, subscribe to my second channel right over there i'm gonna be posting rap songs and stuff like that so thank you for watching and i will see you guys in my next video vroom